I like how I look like I'm in the freaking rainforest cafe right now. Okay, so we're gonna go in and prime the lids with the LA Girl Pro Conceal. This is in the shade Fairest. And I just don't wanna do my eyeshadow after I do the skin because I think there's gonna be a fallout situation. So eyes first, so you don't have to worry about the fallout. Definitely did way too much, but it's Halloween. <laughs> there's no such thing as too much. I'm using a damp Real Techniques beauty sponge to blend this out. I'm going into my Certified Affinity 2 palette. It is my favorite blue-green palette ever. I'm picking up just like a really hot Kelly green color on a fluffy blending brush from Sonia Kushak. And I'm gonna buff this into the crease with windshield wiper motions. So far, I'm really loving how like vibrant this green is. I'm gonna go into this color right here. I'm picking it up on a just a tiny crease brush that looks like this and I'm concentrating it in the crease of the eye and then I'm also going to run it along the lash line just so we can do like an outer V situation here. Now I'm going to go back in with that Sonia Kushak brush we used earlier and I'm just going to blend out the edges really gently just to diffuse the colors together. You can always go back into the former color and just kind of buff these edges just so you can't tell where the line is. I'm going to go into that same skinny crease brush and I'm gonna pick up this super, super dark green and I'm gonna mix it in with a little bit of navy, just like taps of navy, just cause I want it like super, super deep. And I'm gonna just deepen up the crease. And just take your time alternating between different brushes to blend the colors out. I love poison ivy. When I was little, I wanted to be poison ivy so, so bad. I swear to God, I acted like poison ivy for like three months straight. Can I grow plants? No. Can I keep plants alive for more than one week? No. Can I keep them alive for more than three days? Doubtful. <laughs> All these plants behind me, they're fake for a reason. <laughs> so I'm gonna get a makeup wipe. I just like to fold the makeup wipe and just kind of gently like use the edge to clean things up. Okay, next I'm jumping into this really fun color and it's in the shade Happy Hippie. All right, I'm taking my NYX Glitter Glue and a flat concealer brush from Sephora and I'm just going to cut my crease with this. I think I'm gonna do a half cut crease today. So I just took a little bit of the glitter primer and I'm just stamping it onto the lid. Going slightly above my crease because I want to give the illusion that I have more lid space than I really do. I'm just using like a flat eyeshadow brush. Oh my God, that's so pretty. <gasps> This is so pretty. I'm loving this, you guys. I know I said I'm gonna do a half cut crease. I'm actually just taking this pigment like all the way out over here. I'm also going to make sure I get the inner corner. So I'm gonna do this on this eye. I'm gonna do my liner with my favorite eyeliner, which is the Tarte Tardis Clay Paint Liner, and a flat eyeliner brush that looks like this. And you know the drill, it's Halloween, so we're gonna do a really big wing. I feel like I'm never gonna go back to a small wing again. And I'm actually gonna tightline with this LA Girl Gel Liner. This is green, it's in the shade Limelight. I'm also tightlining my bottom waterline with this as well. Okay, so now I'm gonna do the same thing with the eyeliners on this side. I have a double wing because on this side I drew my wing a little bit too high up and then it didn't match the side, so I did a double wing. I'm not gonna freak out, I'm just gonna do the skin. <laughs> That's what Poison Ivy would do. Okay, so I'm primed with the NYX Photo HD Primer. I know, all my makeup is like so messy right now. There is like a little bit of a white cast with this, but it definitely goes away as you blend it out. Let me know if you're going to a Halloween party, a convention, like Comic-Con. Let me know where you're going in the comments below. I'm using the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear, and I'm also gonna mix some drops of this liquid highlighter in it. This is the Hello Halo Liquid Highlighter in the shade Goddess Glow. You can mix like a liquid highlighter into your foundation if you ever want to have like a more dewy or luminous finish to your foundation. Oh my God, why does this, why does this smell like Bacardi? <laughs> I'm gonna take my Bacardi foundation. And then I literally just like mix the liquid highlighter in like this. I mix it all together on the back of my hand. This is way too much. Oh my God. Pat everything out with a damp Real Techniques beauty sponge. Okay, I love how luminous this is looking. I'm gonna go into my Maybelline AG1 concealer. This is the shade light. Highlight all the high points of the face that I want to be lighter. I'm just gonna mix a little bit of the LA Girl Pro Conceal concealer. I'm just gonna blend this all out again with the beauty sponge. Okay, now that the concealer's all blended out, I'm gonna set it down really quick with my Honest Beauty Invisible Blurring Loose Powder. Jessica Alba snapped when she made this. Okay, I'm not really liking the way that these wings are looking. I feel like the more I go on, 
I look like an Egyptian. I'm not liking them. I'm gonna try to fix it. I'm using my Maybelline Precise Eyeliner to fix it. I'm just like drawing a thicker wing. Okay, let me do the lower lash line. So I'm gonna go into my Certified Palette again. And I'm gonna pick up a really nice deep dark green on a flat brush that looks like this. And I'm gonna stamp it on the lower lash line. Damn, these makeup wipes are coming in handy today, huh? Drag it through the lash line. So I'm gonna go right into this. Pick up this hot, hot Kelly Green again on a soft elf crease brush. I'm just gonna stamp it in the lower lid. Okay, so I'm just gonna go in and just deepen up that line a little bit. I'm using my Maybelline Precise Liquid Liner. I'm so concentrated. So the mascara combo I'm gonna use is my Voluminous Lash Primer from L'Oreal with the new NYX on the Rise Mascara. So these are the lashes I'm gonna go into. Claire's Finest. I like these cause they kinda like flutter on the edges like this. Well, that's the, how the lashes are gonna be. Don't look really close because you're gonna be disappointed. Okay, I'm gonna actually use this Steve Laurent lip liner in the shade Uptown. And I'm going to just run this through my brows. I know that I'm going to put on a orange wig today, my orange wig. So I want something that's going to kind of match the hair on the wig. Okay, I was just looking at my face and I was like, what is wrong with my face? I forgot to contour and highlight. How did I do that? Editing me, can you just put in a montage of me just contouring and highlighting? <laughs> I'm wearing a green bodysuit that I got from Amazon. I don't want to show it because it's like scant. But if you are going to a Halloween party and you want to be a bad bitch, the link is going to be down below for the bodysuit. And then always, always highlight your collarbones and your shoulders. So I'm going to go into the One Wild Loose Highlighting Powder in the shade Hustle and Glow. And you know, just go crazy, girl. This is your time to shine. They're going to be like, are you Poison Ivy or are you an Oscar trophy? Okay, so here comes the DIY. So I went to the Salvation Army and I got this like disgusting wreath. This is a 99 cent wreath and it actually had a bunch of these vines all over it. See these? I swear, if I see you at Joanne Fabrics in the flower section and you're buying vines, I'm going to slap you. There are always, always flower arrangements at Goodwill's, Salvation Army's, thrift stores. So I'm gonna use these. You can just like literally um, pick off the leaf like this. I'm just picking up a bunch of small leaves. I'm so obsessed with this. I'm gonna have so much fun. Okay, I'm going to attach the leaves with this um, Meron Spirit Gum. So if you're going to like a convention or a party, Spirit Gum is the way to go if you want something to stick, stick. Take off this like plasticky part that's on the back of the leaf. Just like take it off like that because it makes it so much easier for the spirit gum to adhere. So I just cut the leaf in half to make like smaller designs because these are kind of big. I don't want it to be like so, so intense on the face. My trick right now is just brushing the spirit gum onto the skin where I'm going to put the leaf and then waiting maybe like 15, 10 seconds before it's like tacky and then gluing the leaf on. So happy with the way that this is looking. Okay, so off camera, I put on the wig. I put on vines on the tops of my arms and I also hot glue gunned vines to my body suit. Last step is just to do the lip. I'm gonna do the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink Lipstick in the shade Self Starter. The reason why I've been using this so much during Boo and Fright Fest is this stuff stays on. It stays on so, so long. And I have to take Instagram pictures. I have to, you know, do outros and intros. So that's why I like using these kinds of lipsticks because they stay on so long. Okay, and that's the finished look. Thanks for watching. If you're going to a convention or a party, I suggest definitely bringing your spirit gum with you just in case your mask comes off throughout the night or day. Because as I'm talking and smiling, things are lifting. But all in all, I love this costume. I think it looks amazing. I love being Poison Ivy and I'm like living out 
my childhood dream of being poison ivy. If this video inspired you to create any kind of poison ivy look and you want me to see it, make sure you tag me at bunny and fawn on Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, or TikTok and use the hashtag boo and fright fest so that I can see your look and I can feature you on my Instagram stories. Thanks so much for making this so much fun. I have so much more in store for you guys so make sure you hit subscribe down below and press the bell notification so you'll be notified every single time I upload. Make sure you follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, and TikTok. Everything is bunny and fawn right here. Well, I better go before Batman gets here and I'll beat him up. <laughs> Just kidding. Alright guys, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Bye guys.